What's good y'all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show y'all a minimal equipment workout to hit every area of your shoulders. So just follow along with me, I'm gonna break down every movement for you. As you know, your shoulders is broken up into three parts. You have the front, the side, and the rear. So we're gonna hit every single area with minimal equipment because you don't need a lot of equipment to get it in. Let's get it. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these scenes don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you try to eat. I produce it and rap it. I read that contract, you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing. First move, we got Warno Press. So you wanna make sure you get a nice flat base. From here, you're gonna bring the dumbbells in front of you. Rotate out, press up. With the raven and rain, I'm trying to get in them panties. She know I'm a hopeless romantic. She know that this dick is satanic. Smoke out so my eyes are less landing. What I put in this wood is organic. Baby, let's just forget the semantics. You won't make me abandon my. <sighs> All right, so you want to make sure you aim for at least 8 to 12 reps, rest in 60 to 90 seconds, do about 3 to 5 sets. That's what we like to call the hypertrophy phase of training. And that's the phase that you wanna train in to build lean muscle and burn fat. All right, y'all, so next exercise we're gonna do is seated lateral raises. Now you can do this standing too, but I like to do them seated just so it targets the lateral head of the shoulders and we're not engaging any stabilizer. So if you just wanna isolate it to the point where you're just working your shoulders, do them seated because you're gonna feel that burn in the lateral head of the shoulders a lot. So <clears throat> if you're doing them seated, make sure your shoulders are rolled back. You're gonna pull to the top, but still keep your elbows slightly bent. So don't keep them straight. Keep a little bit of flexion inside of the elbows. So when you pull them to the top, you're here. I can't keep calm, bitch, I'm going dumb. Drink until I'm numb. Where you at? Bitch, I'm in the slums. Post it with a drum. Will it done? Any out on bun. Wanna leave a gun. I fuck with Sean. He might drop a bum. I'm huncho where I'm from. With a cold, something that look like Laura Lund, no disrespect. Oh, I beat a nip, two fingers in the thumb. Chasing bags, but this ain't a race, it's a mirror. Chasing bags, but this ain't a race, it's a marathon. Hold up, I need my respect, I need another check. All right, y'all, so this next exercise we're about to hit is bent over rear deltoid flies. So with this exercise, we're hitting the rear deltoids, but we are engaging our stabilizers because we want our core to work a little bit and we also want our shoulders to work too a little bit. So really dope pulling movement. Definitely add this into your routine. So that's how you do it. <clears throat> so first, get your feet shoulder width apart, shoulder blades back. You're gonna go into a full hip hinge and then you're gonna drive your elbows to the ceiling. So elbows to the ceiling. Keep your spine neutral. So don't be like this, spine neutral, shoulders back. All right, y'all, so next exercise we're doing is dumbbell front raises. We're gonna do them seated too as well. This targets the anterior deltoid, so the front of the shoulders. So with this exercise, I'm doing them seated again just so we can isolate the shoulders because whenever you're standing, that's when it engages your stabilizers, but if you wanna focus specifically on that muscle group, what you can do is just sit down, keep your shoulders back. So grab your weight. <clears throat> So shoulders back, nice flat base on your feet, about shoulder width apart. So here we're gonna raise and then raise. So I like to do them one at a time. So side to side is one. And we're gonna shoot for about 10 to 12 reps. We lost Tupac in the lil. They killed the Naga like Nipsey. Some shit can't be forgiven. Trying to do something different, but am I ready and willing? I can't be like these Nagas who only rap about jewelry. Design the clothes, how they killing. I'm trying to help us get millions. I be booked to the ceiling. I hit the gas, I be cooling. Sponge want a new dueling. Lucy want a new booty. Trying to stick to one woman. I know these bitches got coolies. I can't act, I'm about action. Repeat that line and I'm shooting. 
This last movement we're gonna do is a kneeling shoulder press. So one knee down, and the reason why we're doing that is because we wanna isolate each side and also engage the core on one side of the body. So this is gonna help improve your core strength and also work some stabilizers too. So I do them single arms, so one arm at a time. So if this foot is up, then you wanna do the opposite shoulder. So here, bring it out here. I like to hold this arm out for balance, and then we're just pressing. Try to get your shoulder behind your ear. Bring it down 90 degrees. Well, a little lower than 90 degrees. After you do 12 reps, switch legs. So here, switch, arm out for balance. Out here, shoulder behind the ear, 90 degrees. Try to keep your torso straight. So there you have it. That's five exercises that you can do with minimal equipment to target literally every area of your shoulders. So the front, the side, and the rear. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need a lot of equipment to do it. So that's a huge misconception. People think that they need a big fancy gym with a whole bunch of equipment to get to the games when in reality you don't. So if we're talking about building muscle and burning fat, you need to focus on progressive overload strength training. So for example, that five exercise routine for shoulders, that could be one workout that you can do on a shoulder day. And then just focus on pushing yourself and being better every single week. So progressing in weight week over week. So like for example, if you did 50 pounds on an Arnold press, the next week shoot for 55 pounds on an Arnold press. So just focus on getting stronger every single week because that's what's gonna help you. And we all know that you need to optimize your nutrition. So your nutrition needs to be on point if you're trying to burn fat and build lean muscle. Now, if you wanna join my transformation team, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You can just reach out to me via Instagram, just shoot me a DM with the words ready, and I'll respond to you and see you know, what we can accomplish together based off of whatever goals that you wanna accomplish. And you can also check out my client page too, Lifestyle Integrated Training on Instagram. Tons of transformations, also nutrition tips too, to help you guys out. And if you guys need any help with anything, feel free to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a cool dude. I'm a solid dude. <laughs> but until next time, y'all be blessed, man. Thank you for tuning in. And take it easy. I'm out.